Who says that inspiration can't come from the most interesting of places? Hey guys, so I said I'd do this review last week, uh, apologize for the lateness. I'm going to review the animated Wonder Woman movie that came out in 2009. This is one of the best DC animated universe films they ever made. This is when Bruce Timm was at the top of his game for producing pro projects. This was an origin story for Wonder Woman, and this movie... Uh, well, let's just say that the new one took a lot of inspiration from this film. This is an origin film. It talks about the whole aspect of Steve, T Trevor, and Diana, her being introduced into the world of man. Ares is the villain. The whole idea of not being able to trust man and everything like that. There are a few differences. There is a little bit more of a focus on Ares. Uh, Diana is a little bit more kind of matter-of-factly with... Uh, her sort of assumption of what the world of men is, and there's, oh yeah, there's this giant battle in front of the White House with demons and gargoyles and Amazons. This is another movie in the DC Animated Universe films that I kind of say that they should stick with PG-13. This film is violent, there's blood in it. Admittedly, the PG-13 rating has gotten a lot more so violent in recent films, especially with the last one, the Judas Contracts and Teen Titans film. There was a lot more violence in that one, and it was still PG-13. So anytime they ever say they're going to do an R movie, I don't understand. They are perfectly fine with PG-13. The film follows the same sort of arc as that of the newly released film. It talks about Diana's origins. It does specify much more detail how Ares has a connection with both Wonder Woman's mother as well as Wonder Woman herself. And there is a much better conflict between the two. Admittedly, the idea that she's going after who she thinks is Ares in the new film was an interesting idea, but this is a very straight up film. She knows basically right off the bat what she's going into, what she's after. It is set in modern day. There are elements from the Wonder Woman comics that are introduced into this film that don't work as well, mainly the invisible jet. They don't explain that at all in this film. Because I think it's near impossible to explain how an Amazon who lives on an island with Greek architecture and society ideals, as well as technology, has a jet. So that is kind of what I'm happy about that, they, that isn't in the new films, at least for the time being. But aside from that, I still really enjoy this film. The voice acting is on par. Nathan Fillion as Steve Trevor is pretty good. His character is not as fleshed out as it was as by Chris Pine in the newest film, but he still does a funny job. It's Nathan Fillion, you can't really go wrong with him in voice acting. Carrie Russell brings a cool, much more adult attitude to Diana in this film. She's not as eh, innocent and as funny as she was in the live action film. We see the character as a much more of a leader, much more of a stronger figure character that she's meant to be in the comics as well as what she was in the animated Justice League TV show. Ares is also, as I said, much more fleshed out in this. Alfred Maloney as his voice actor is absolutely great casting. He's a pretty cool villain. The whole concept of his lore in the Greek mythology and into this movie is very well done. I enjoyed pretty much all aspects of this film. The, there are a few things that are done better in the live action, the main thing being the romance and the relationship between Steve Trevor and Diana. Much, much better in the live action film. Again, this is a short animated film and more of the focus is going to be on kind of introducing and setting up characters as well as then getting to the fight scenes. And the fight scenes in this are pretty cool, especially the climax. I'll say the climax in this one is better than the one in the live action. Aside from the sacrifice of one character in the live action, this one is just balls out. You got demons, you got dead zombie women, you got Amazons, you got flying horses, you have lightning bolts from gods. There is everything you could think of that happens in this climax. And what's so cool is how the beginning of the film reflects on how the climax ends and there's that mirror polarity and it's actually really cool to see as well as when I first watched it I actually had a oh I dropped my jaw and said holy shit because I didn't expect it coming 
I enjoy this film. There are some aspects that I think that could have had a little bit more of a weight to them, a little bit more fleshed out, like I said, the romance and the sort of the characteristics between Steve Trevor and Diana. But otherwise, I feel that this is a good movie, and there's a lot of aspects that the live-action film may have incoherently borrowed from this film. Also, the big thing is about this film is its comparison of Ares used in this film as opposed to the live-action film. In the live-action film, it's well used to an extent, but it really kind of comes out of left field at the end. Not saying that I didn't mind that, but I feel that it's much better done in this film, especially since we learn more about the character. Also, there isn't that bullshit about, join me, Diana, that was in the new one, that I admit was really unnecessary. He's a god of war. His whole point is to kill people, not have people join his side, I don't know. So, in the end, I still really enjoy the animated Wonder Woman film. It is one of the best ones in the DC Animated Universe catalog. It is a definite one that should be seen. Anyways, my final rating for the animated Wonder Woman film is a 6 out of 7. I enjoy this film more than the live action one. I think it's a better film. Did I enjoy the live action one? Yes! Was it a Marvel movie, basically, in sort of its sense? Yes! But I still like both films, but admittedly, since the animated one came out first and a lot of the ideals from the live action are borrowed from this film, I have to agree with this one and side with it more. Anyways guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I wanted to talk about this movie for a long time. It is in my bucket list movies. So anyways guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.